Welcome everyone. Here's another cool action figure model. It's amazing how uh, beautiful these things really are. What kind of works of craftsmanship out there. Uh, this is a very rare rapid deployment force figure that was sold through Walmart in 1994. So it's about 20 years old. Let's give you a little bit down here. In Time Products Company Limited. Of course, that's a made in China. And this is sold at through Walmart. Here's the different uh, figures they have, and I have most of these, and I will be uh, showing you these. But these are the standard kits, and what's kind of cool is these have actually tattoos on the chest. Uh, these are not very poseable. Only the arms move, uh, and the head a little bit. The legs don't bend, but... Um, they're good for most situations, even if you're using them uh, as more of a play item. But this is the unique Kendo Warrior. But this is the uh, bonus kit that has... Uh, actually, they even have a tattoo here um, that you can uh, use yourself. Temporary tattoo. Uh, wear the tattoo like your warrior wears. Kind of a cool idea. And you can see on the chest here... We have um, the skull with the actual tiger in front of it, a white tiger. It's got your typical uh, martial arts um, weapons here. If you can see that nunchucks. Underneath that is a pole. What is that? You have a katana, practice katana, because this is a kendo. Kendo, of course, is the uh, Japanese uh, sword fighting uh, art. You can see the, what the figure looks like if you use the entire uniform. Pretty hard to get these kendo type uniforms unless you pay a lot of money for them out of Japan and you can get some of the uh, different types of uniforms they wear. Uh, but these are very nice, and they were very inexpensive. This is in mint condition, really nice. The box is perfect. Got this off of eBay. Somebody really took their time to do this right, uh, to make sure they kept it right, I should say. And as I said, here's the uh, ones on the back. And you can see the actual uh, shirt down here. This is what it looks like when you put it together. Um, 12, this is, this is one of those 12 inch figures, which as far as I'm concerned is the only real action figures. It's got the weapons and everything else. And of course you can use this uniform on any figure if you wanted to, as you can see here, this is the only articulation, unfortunately, it's just really that the arms bend here. Uh, I wonder if the waist, it looks like the waist may move a little bit there. Uh, but the legs don't have any joints in them. Uh, the head does turn here. Um, so you can still have a really cool figure. Uh, as you can see, even from this being poised here, it's not doing much. The arms are just bent, and uh, but you can pose it still pretty well. So that makes a really cool thing. But I, I always like to keep most of my stuff uh, in the box. Um, and I use them as display items, uh, kind of like decorations and so forth. So, I mean, there's lots of ways of getting cool stuff. That, uh, if you were to buy some sort of kendo statue or something, it would cost you a lot more money. And usually they're not anywhere. I like the realism of having the accessories, uh, cotton um, and uh, soft goods, as they call them, uh, outfits and so forth. So, really cool, very rare, and... Um, yeah, you're not going to see this. You're not going to see much of these. Not only is this 20 years old now, um, but this variant of the rapid um, deployment force, um, which there are several types that came out at this particular time, um, but they're very relatively rare. You're not going to find these things. I don't think they were treasured too much, and I don't think people want. But I mean. You know, I'm always looking for rare, interesting, unusual items, not the same old thousand military outfits you get, particularly from uh, Hasbro and the G.I. Joe line. You know, it's all the same thing. I mean, they almost look the same because military uniforms are so common. Um, they rarely got any, into anything like this or anything really unusual. So this is a real treasure. 
I've seen these selling for several hundred dollars. I got a great deal on it. Um, so this is certainly something to add to my rapid deployment force um, collection here, which I have just about all of them. So anytime you can find something unique like this that kind of fits in, it's uh, quite a little treasure. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, more coming.